What's up, everybody? Welcome to another edition of Toothpicks. Hey, we got a special video today. Today, I'm going to be boiling some crawfish for my family and a couple friends. I got some sponsors today. I want to shout out Boil Boss, who sponsored this new paddle they got with the thermometer. And they got a ring right here that I've been using for a couple years now. And shout out to Gulf Runner Seafood here in the Metroplex and DFW. They supplied the crawfish. So stay tuned. It's going to be a lot of fun. Alright guys, so I broke out the crawfish washer I picked up from Academy a couple years ago. I love this thing. Gets the crawfish real cleaned up. Gets the water cleared up real good. You want to get the mud and the grass to overflow in this pot. All you got to do is hook a hose to it and you're ready to go. Next thing we'll be doing, we're going to step over here and we're going to get the pot lit. All right, let's get our veggies cut up. I got some onion I want to cut up. Get these quarter out, or you can cut them in half with the skin on, throw them in a pot, however you want to do it. A quarter, about a five pound bag up. I got some celery, one stalk of celery I want to get cut up as well. I'm gonna step over here, get my lemons, get these cut up. I got about 20 lemons I'm gonna put up in the pot, squeeze them out, get that good flavor going. You want some citrus in your pot, you can throw some oranges in there if you want to. Got my flavor bomb mushrooms, all my lemons. I got my seasonings ready. I'm gonna show you what those are when I throw them in a pot. We're gonna step over here. We're gonna get ready to cut some of this sausage. I got some andouille sausage right here. Don't remember the brand, but I got it out here. We're gonna get these chunked up in slices. Sometimes I like to throw these on the smoker and just smoke them by itself and add that to the meal if you want. Put those all in the pan. Get that going. Man, that looks good. So look at all this setup right here all that yes that is going in the pot that's going to be some good additions to this crawfish boil now you want to put your onion that i had put it in your your favorite blender we're going to blend this up like a slurry now i got this idea from smoky reels barbecue i've done this about two years oh man it adds lots of flavor i think they got it from frog bone but man it works get this all blended up right here until you turn into a slush right here um almost like a margarita mix as frog bone says um, not my idea, but hey, let's not reinvent the wheel. This adds to it very good. Go ahead and pour that in a bowl right there. Get that set up right there. We're going to pour that all in the pot. Next thing we want to do, we want to go ahead and get our celery blended the same way. No need to explain this. Just let it roll. Go ahead and put the boil boss paddle in there. See what we got coming up right there. See how fast that's coming up. This is real neat, guys. This takes all the guesswork out of it. Really, when the water starts boiling, uh, you know it's time to put in. But I want to know how fast it's coming up and then my soap times and everything like that. So let's go ahead and get our seasons put in. Come over here. I got my daughter, Brianna, going to assist with everything. So first thing we're going to do, we're gonna get some of this this boil rub and she's gonna grab some of those crab boy mixes. You're gonna do I got a three pound tub. I love this Zatteris Pro Boil right here. This stuff is good. Get that poured up in the water. Wind's blowing pretty good today. Get all that poured up in there. Brianna, you can go ahead and pour a full bottle. I got two bottles of these right here. Man, that's gonna be spicy. Get another one poured up in there. There you go. I'm gonna do a whole bottle of cayenne pepper. A whole bottle of cayenne pepper right there. Get that poured up in there. Last thing, not the last thing, but 
I got any kind of hot sauce you do. I got some slap the mama hot sauce. Put some hot sauce with a little bit of extra tang. Get that poured up in there. Next thing you want to do, we're going to squeeze some lemons up in here. Come on, Brian, let's get some of these lemons. Squeeze up and drop them in there. Squeeze all that juice in there. Go and drop them in there. Perfect sunny day to be doing a crawfish boil. Man, oh man. Get all these in there. All right. I think I got one. One more. Alright, so we're gonna give that a good stir. Just get all those seasonings mixed up in there. Ooh, one more thing we gotta do. We're gonna go get the salt. Pour the salt up in there. Man, that's gonna be man oh man. Alright, so while that's cooking, another little secret I've learned over, over the years. Got to have butter, guys. Make sure you get all that paper off. Drop that butter in there. So he's saying right here. That's some flavor right there, guys. Get all that flavor. Get all that in there. Get all that in there. And then one thing, last thing for right now, we want to start early. You can get these little boil bags right here in Academy. And I got some sweet potatoes in here. I got some red potatoes. I got some onion. onion and I got a little bit of celery. You want to start these early on because they take the longest to cook. Put those in there and that'll sink to the bottom. Right there. And I'm go ahead and throw my sausage in there. Get that cooked. Okay, so once you get all your sausage in there, we're going to let this come up to a boil. And then we'll get ready to throw our crawfish in there. And another thing, one thing I forgot to tell y'all guys, I got some smoked turkey next. These boys are thick. Got it at my local fiesta. I'm gonna pour these in there early. Let them tender up, get all that boiled juice in there. Get that poured up in there. Give it another stir. Get all that pushed down. See what the temperature is now. Since I put everything in there, it might have cooled off a little bit, but it's starting to come up as you can see, steadily. When it gets over here to this 200, it's gonna be rolling a boil. All right, so let's get the top hooked back on and let it let that heat retain, and we'll be checking it in a bit. Chuck Gulf Oyster from Gulf Oyster Seafood. Right. Okay. Really? There you go, sir. <laughs> Put it in your mouth. There you go. Swallow it. Ew. <laughs> it tastes great. But that, that's actually good. See? <laughs> <laughs> it's different when they that's fresh, cool. huh? That's really fresh. Oh, we can do those again. <laughs> Alright guys, so I think we got this pot up to boiling. Let's go on and take this top off. It's hot, so always have your oven mitt. Woo wee, it's boiling good. Let's just show what the boil boss thermometer can do. I'm gonna put this in there. Let's see what, what did it come up to here? Let's see what that comes up to. It should come up to the cook indication. 
There it goes. Man, this thing is awesome, guys. This is a game changer. You can still do it the old school way. You don't even have to have this, but it's good to have it. It's a great addition, and there it is. So let's go ahead and put this crawfish in there. All right. All right, Pops. Let's go Pour these bad boys in. There they go. Woo! They all gone out there? Yep. There they go. Give a little swirl around, get them all in there. That pepper getting you, I know. Okay. All right, guys. So we're gonna let this come up to a boil. Once it comes back up to a boil, we're gonna boil it for like three to four minutes. That's it, cut the fire off. I'm gonna put the boil boss ring on it and we're gonna show you how we use that to get the temperature down fast and without putting ice in it to dilute your season. Stay tuned for that. Man, we got these crawfish rolling, rolling. Had a couple beers in me already, but hey, that's what you gotta have when you're doing crawfish boil. Look at it. This boil boss thermometer paddle is reading so good. That's almost 212 right there. Let's look at these crawfish. See how they looking. They got a boil going on them. Not a big rolling boil, but they're there. We're gonna be turning these off in a minute. And then we're gonna be soaking them. And I'm gonna show you how we do that. Man, oh man, these are gonna be good. All right, guys. These things have been boiling about four minutes. Once you get up to the rolling boil, that's when I start counting. It doesn't take that long for it to come up. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off this heat. All closed up. Get everything closed up real good. So next thing we're gonna be doing, I got the boil boss, this ring right here, pot ring. So all we do is put this on here. We're gonna set it right there. This is the best time that we're gonna put our corn in there. Let's get our corn and mushrooms in there. Get all that in there. All right, guys. And then you want to put shrimp, you want to put that last. All right, put the shrimp in last because you don't want to overcook that right there. That's that fresh built shrimp right there. Got a little more. Got mm -hmm. it picked up from Gulf Runner Seafood here in Dallas. All right, so I'm going to take this right here. And I'm going to push those down right there. Now when we turn on this ball boss, Right, it's gonna hit water on the outside ring, so I'm gonna turn this on right here. All right, so what this does is it allows the pot to rapidly cool. Okay, since so you're having to wait an hour and you want to put ice in it, and the ice just dilutes your seasoning and everything, you're just gonna get it down. So let's take the thermometer paddle. Let's see where we at already. We're about at 160. When it hits that one up there in that soak green area, 145, 160, that's what we want. And the way you do that is just keep stirring it up. Okay? Get that stirred up real quick. Get everything mixed up there. Man, y'all don't know about these mushrooms. These mushrooms, they're gonna soak up all this good flavor. So this water, this water, that's not, that's not coming out of the pot. Oh, it's keeping the pot cooking. I'm filming, family. Oh. <laughs> so, uh, so we got it, uh, some technical difficulties. Family's been drinking and things like that. Get this stirred up. Let's see where it's at right now. It's getting down there, but you gotta keep agitating. Get it mixed up so that cool water and hit the sides. Right there. And you can see they're already starting to, to fall a little bit. That's what you want. That is what you want, guys. So the faster this temp falls, man, oh man. It's getting there. It's almost at the soap part. Guys, this cuts the time. Using this uh, paddle, just being able to look at the temperature and not have to take my, my barbecue thermometer out or another different type of temp gauge, having to put it in there constantly. Man, it's just, it's good stuff. 
If I keep doing this for a little bit, like about three to five more minutes, I'm gonna let it, you don't even have to eat it right after this. You can let it soak about 10 minutes. I'll probably let it soak about 10 minutes just to get a little more flavor in there. Uh-oh, there goes some of that. Look at that right there. There goes some of the turkey neck right there. Oh my God, it just pulls right off of there. Mm. Get that soaked in. Almost there. So what, what the paddle say? All right, it's come down fast, guys. You see how all these crawfish are starting to sink? Got them sweet potatoes. Forgot about the sweet potatoes. I bet, huh? And the red potatoes, they're at the bottom. All right, so I think we're good right here, almost. We're in the soak area. I'm gonna right about 160. I'm gonna go for right there in the middle of 145, 160. And we're gonna let this soak. But I'm gonna taste one on camera just so you know that it's good and all that action packed flavor. And then we can get this family to eat. All right, I think we're good right there. So let's look at it right there. Go ahead and turn off the boil boss down here to ring. You can let those soak a little longer, but I think I'm gonna taste one. Baby, think, think I should gonna get one? All right. Here we are. That's hot, guys. <laughs> I gotta taste one, guys. That right there. Mmm. Mm. Oh man, look at that. Look at that meat almost dropping. Look at that meat on there. Oh my gosh. See how that come out there? Mmm. Mmm. -mm -mm. mm. Don't forget that spice. Ooh, that spice is in there. Go fast. That's some good spice and flavor. You don't even have to soak these, guys. They're ready to go. So, here we are. Got your crawfish done. I got some fresh ghost oysters I'm gonna put on the grill. I'm not even gonna put that on camera, that's for us. Shout out, like I said, the Boil Boss for sponsoring this paddle. Shout out to Gulf Runner Seafood for sponsoring the, the crawfish. Appreciate it, guys, I got the links and I have the information below in the description to go check them out. Stay tuned for more videos. We're gonna get down to this crawfish. Trust, I got me a brew for everybody trying to know in the house. Toothpicks.